What is up, you guys? We are on Star Watcher. And uh, funny thing about Star Watcher, there is no fucking stars. I mean, what, what, what are you doing, Falons? Falons, where, where are the stars, bro? Why is the map Star Watcher? Are we watching stars or not? I mean, raids going on already. Did we lose something serious? We did lose a construction bot, though we can revive it with the Laz. Laz, Lazarus. Laz sounds good. And, uh, yeah. Again, Flash with Holy. Holy is definitely happy about that. They have Madka on their team as well. But Madka, gonna be a bit mad after. Okay, did lose that. Metal Extraction, just look at that delayed explosion. I guess the, the shock wave spreads slowly. That's why it uh, gets caught a bit later. But yeah, for the for the most part, the game does have a realistic uh, physics. For the most part, yep, pretty much. But sometimes you just you just question some things, you know. But it's funny. It's funny, you know. If it's not realistic. It's funny. Pawns going for a swim. Let's start with Kels here. Or actually, no, sorry. Kels is on the other team, and LSR going to be late to this lane. We'll see if that has consequences. He's only getting pawns. He does have a, a pretty developed base compared to Kels, but it's out there. Honestly, just wants to have a steady production of units. Already has a construction turret as well. Getting some converters. Getting some more windmills. So he is actually doing quite well. Get, gets two construction turrets. So he has a very good base setup. Have in mind. And uh, yeah, this turret might not go up. That is fine. Nonetheless, he is going to get some more turrets in the back. How about dog? What type of base does he have? Uh, and undeveloped one. I guess he's just rushing units. And Ragna. Third or fourth game in a row. Just rushing T2. Which is fine, I guess. If uh, if your teammates hold your lane. And that's the exact thing uh, Skibat is doing. Although he's already 30% done with his... Uh, with his bot, uh, T2 bot lab. So two techers. Holy, what is he? Um, oh, he's going to be the air player. And uh, Flash. Making a couple of units. Here we go. And, uh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going, Holy? There's some more. There's some more right here. What, this guy almost gets destroyed by the... Oh, this is a joke. This is going to get destroyed. What, are, what is this shuriken doing? God damn it. God damn it. Well, Flash is going to be... Well, he's not going to be up against 2. He's going to be up against BFR. He got ranked 40. That is pretty good. I think he was ranked 38 when we started. But 39. Like, like his health bar right now. Um, but he's getting... He's ranking up pretty fast. Obviously, he gets, uh, you get more rank the, the, the lower rank you are. But he is in no way a low rank. 40 is already top of the leaderboard, I imagine. Or like, I don't know, ZLO. Uh, tag Zlow, not CLO, Zlow. Uh, player from Russia. Told me he's second on the leaderboard. So, And uh, I'm actually recording at, at the at the time that uh, he told me he's playing around. So I want to catch him, actually. But uh, actually see, is he there? Well, he's not. No, I guess not. That's fine. Maybe he's not in this lobby. Or is he just going to join afterwards? But dog against Madka. Madka does have a couple of oh, these. This turret won't even be able to shoot until this one gets constructed. And Madka only has a couple of Rocketeers and a couple of pawns. But yeah, Air Baron is not going to let these units slip through. Holy, having quite a few of these shurikens. So we're going to need some anti-air. We do have anti-air. That is good. BFR getting a very, very good forward position. I mean, bots can scale this. Uh, that rover, man, is just so small compared to the commander. Just take a look at it. 
Uh, that is almost the size of a uh, of a human, let's say, like, like a human is standing right here. So, and these turrets are pretty huge. Like, imagine the rest of it. And once we look at it like that, it's those are pretty small, right? And I just put it into perspective, like an experimental gantry. How big it is. On Neptunia having a very, very strong... Oh, man. Did this get updated? This definitely got updated. There there were no 4.2 uh, metal extractors. Is this Star Watcher 1.0 or is it still... Okay, it's 1.0. Okay, nice. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, there weren't any uh, 4.2, if I remember cor correctly. Don't quote me on that, but I don't think... I never saw these 4.2. They probably got added and... The Western team has both of them. Neptunia is actually enjoying himself right now so much. Sitting on 30 metal income with only T1. That is pretty insane. How many converters does he have? I guess the thing... Well, you see it? Like, what? That's bugged, right? I, I have the energy converter usage. And it just doesn't show the... It doesn't show the window, the little tooltip. What the fuck? But anyway... Um, Yodo, managing to push Kyoma at least a little bit, and uh, Rinwen losing his commander here, although Yodo is already on it, recycling the commander, that's going to be fine. Flash on the back foot, he does not have a vehicle lab, he is on the losing side at the moment. He's just getting constructors up, not sure for what. And BFR, not deciding to push, nor does Rebel Node. On this side, Rebel Node walling off his part of the river. And it's not going to be accessible. And so, wait. How do we have so many units? Kels? He's not about to lose his commander, right? Just don't. He needs to start. Uh, he needs to start um, recycling these. Uh, all these units, actually. He has a forward vehicle lab. He recycled the bot lab. Five of his constructors are not doing anything. Actually, just a bit of back and forth. Holy. Getting some fighters out, but there is no air player in this other team. Victor Victor 12th is getting the T2 aircraft plan, but he does not have enough metal. He's just upgrading manually. And he's not moving. He's not moving with his... Uh, he's not moving to help his advanced construction bot. It's going to take quite a bit of time. Much as this... Uh, Cost 14,000 build power. That is a bit too much for a solo um, advanced construction bot. You should definitely help it, Victor, with some other units. And look at this. Look at this. LSR overflowing with these pawns. And there is a 4.2 metal here as well. Okay, right. So there is uh, next to BFR on top side. Yeah, th that was definitely added. There's no way that was there before definitely wasn't now they have a purpose to to fight here and this is just to make it uh, more uh, just to make it more uh, um, you know turbulent if if I'm using that word properly honestly I'll look it up after but uh, uh, a more uh, uh, more movement more aggression just to seize that metal extractor and that's that's 16 metal income from the advanced metal extractor 4.2 obviously from the regular one and that is quite a lot early game And look at this. Holy. <laughs> Going there with the air constructor. Wait, you're joking. Oh, he's deconstructing him with the commander. What are you doing, Kels? Oh, okay, well. I guess he's your, he's taking your medal. Oh, holy man. Oh, that was, that was not, that was not that good. Holy sharing 2,000 medal to Flash. Let's see if Flash, let's see if Flash manages to... Oh, that's what you call uh, uh, funneling resources from one spot to the other. There's still a lot of metal for, for Kells to work with here. Like a thousand, if I'm seeing that right. Twelve hundred. But still, Flash receiving two thousand metal from Holy. That is going to help a lot. Oh, we got to move these Lazarus. Okay. 
Oh, flash. Oh, man. That is so much damage from these Janus. That is so annoying. We do have a Twilight, though. I could stun them. Oh, no. Oh, no. Even losing the... Does have a lot more HP. But, yeah, in any case, just losing all the Janus. Uh, not the Janus, sorry. Losing all the Lazarus and Flash. About to get... About to get ran over by these. That was a good, uh, that was a good Twilight. A lot of units got stunned. And I'm not sure why we pushed that way anyways. Since we did see that... Oh, no, no, don't get him in yet. No, 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 no. That is too early. That is too early. These Whistlers can deal with these Shurikens very easily. Kel's managing to stabilize. And getting some... Not some, a lot of anti-air. And BFR and Rebel Node are looking good on this top side. Flash does... Do we see these units? Like, obviously right now we kind of do. Since this uh, jam range is 500. So it's just cloaking a, a part of these units. We're just seeing a small... Let me just take a look at that. How many does he actually... He doesn't see any of them. Actually. On the radar. That is a problem. They don't see the amount of units... They kind of did once they got into the range of the Twilight, so. I'm not sure what's holding them back from pushing. Like obviously, Flash does not have units to work with. He did not tear up. He got given the, the T2 construction bot. Or did he? Did he make it himself? I'm not sure. And he's getting some more defenses. Just to be sure he doesn't leak any units. There's there's a lot of units here. For Path of BFR and Rebel Node. And we're finally starting to see a fusion reactors go up at 15 minutes. That is a bit... It's a bit late, but... We can still make do. This is an advanced fusion reactor from Rebel Node. 15 minutes. Kind of good time. What does, he, what does he need? He needs like 30 more seconds to finish that. That is pretty good. We're making a persecutor. That is actually going to help a lot. We already have two gauntlets. From the Petunio, and now this pers Persecutor from Dog is j just going to put a lot of pressure onto Madcap. He's forced to retreat. There's nothing he can do right now at the moment. Right now at the moment. What are you even saying? <laughs> God damn it. And I'm not sure why we're not attacking, but we're just giving them time to build up their units. They do have a couple of shurikens, but you do have eight whistlers, which can easily deal with that. We do have an Umbra, jam range 450, so less than um, less than Sneaky Pete. This Umbra is just so slow, man. How does this vehicle even turn? It doesn't even have like the tires are not, you know, doing what tires are supposed to, having an axle. Like moving, steering. God damn these whistlers. Just easily shoot these rovers down. And finally, we have a push. Flash gets a cloak. Well, uh, um, a jammer. That's gonna help. Gremlin. Not sure if this is gonna be any. Oh, Gremlin does. It shoots every three seconds, but it deals 262 damage per shot. That could be pretty good. But Flash. Oh man, Flash getting an Aphis, not even having a factory. This is a gamble, honestly. This is a gamble for Flash, but it could pay off. It could very well pay off. do have intrusion countermeasure 
So Madcap will not be able to move these guys freely. Yeah, Tracer. And we have Persecutor and a Rattlesnake <laughs> shooting each other. These are what? Are these uh, ambassadors? Or Yeah, those are ambassadors. We oh, this is just a beholder. Okay, I thought it was the... It was a ghost, but yeah, this is just getting repaired. This is not going to go down unless ambassadors shoot it as well. Neither is this rattlesnake going to go down. This is actually funny to watch. Is it? No, it's not. And it goes both ways. Did we, did we destroy some build power? No, we didn't. We're just still repairing it. <laughs> just look at that. And Madka, very low force retreat. This rattlesnake is not gonna. What is that? Oh, it's set to high altitude. Oh man, that is actually. Does that do more damage when it's high altitude? That is actually a lot of damage. Is it? Is it increased when it's high trajectory? Ah, okay, okay, you see, that is a pop-up, long-range heavy G2G, ground-to-ground -ground plasma cannon, 420, and when it's high trajectory long-range heavy G2G, it is 960 damage, what on earth? That is actually, that is actually a very big difference, let me try and find the gauntlet, is it the same? Can't seem to find it, there is no gauntlet here, what am I looking? I mean, that is just crazy, right? Like, okay, first time I... Okay, there's a gauntlet. Yeah, just look. High trajectory, 600 damage. And a regular uh, gauntlet shot uh, is 300 damage. So, man, that is actually... That is actually insane. But what's insane is that Ski Bat, 20-minute mark, getting out with 10 Marauders. This is... Oh, we do have a Pulsar. So, we should work to avoid... Attacking this, and we have quite a few Sheldons. That that shot from Pulsar just didn't do anything. And oh, we even have ticks rushing these Marauders. These Marauders are not going to find a lot of value, obviously, uh, because yeah, just already a lot of units are surrounding them. And uh, yeah, these Sheldons do 105 damage per shot. It just you know dealing a lot of damage while these guys are passing through, and they're still they could find some value but we're not gonna find much there's five of them left like right, that is one two three four five five marauders donation let's see if they actually find something worth well they find Neptunia's backline and what there we go Just suddenly all of them get destroyed this one's getting uh, recycled, attacked by these uh, by these ticks. And just look at that. The, the zero damage done. That's like 10. 10 Marauders donated, honestly. What are we seeing? What is this drawing? Oh, Flash. Yep. Uh, the gamble didn't pay off. That um, Flash lost his entire front line. Uh, that advanced fusion reactor was not the greatest idea. Honestly, and uh, he loses his base entirely to the push of Rebel Node. And obviously, we couldn't expect these two players uh, to play on the same side. But yeah, Rebel was just waiting for this. Look at this. Has a solid income and is just spamming Jaguars to the top side. Just look at this little line, little uh, train of uh, 46 Jaguars. Yeah, this is not going to get stopped pretty soon. And we have a Lich from Victor. Only has some gunships, some aircraft, but that is just not going to be enough. That is just not going to be enough. And uh, this should be GG's. Only has an advanced fusion reactor in the back. And. Uh, Hold the lines, that's the name of the song, and yeah. <laughs>
quite the time to say that. What? That was like the that was like a non commander update explosion. Oh no. Oh no, that's the Aphis. And that's the Lich coming in. Did some damage, but yeah, we still have Jaguars going through. Look at that. That is what? 50 Jaguars still. Yeah, this is over. This is pretty over. And look at Kells. Kells' line being destroyed by 25 Sheldons. Nothing you can do about this. He does have a long range jamming tower though. How do they have so much line inside? Do these guys have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the, the, the auger, the... The radar bot has 925 line of sight, which is more than enough for the Sheldon to shoot. And yeah, that was that was it pretty much. This uh, victory came from top side, obviously BFR and Rebel Node. Very well played. And uh, Victor as well, having T2 bombers, having a Lich. And uh, yeah, I guess the gamble from uh, Flash did pay off to get that T2 advanced fusion reactor. Should have had at least some T2 units. And uh, yeah, uh, GG's. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.